All right, here's a fun video for you. You have a can, and your tool doesn't have a can opener, but you have a pair of pliers. So the question is, can you open this can with a pair of pliers? The answer is yes. I've actually, for, you know, for experimental sake, I've done this in the past. Now, I have never done it with the Gerber Dual Force, so that's what we're going to test. But I also have the uh, Leatherman Surge, and I know I can do it with this. So we're going to do this, and if I can't, I'll start with a, another can with the Surge, and then we'll test it. But the way it works is you, what you're going to do is you're going to break a tab. You're going to break the seal first. So when you do this, I'm going to grab the end. Now, I've never, I haven't really done a lot of use with the uh, Gerber Dual Force, so I don't know how it'll grip. But let's give it a shot. So you have to kind of work it till it tears. Once you got it, once you got it broken. All right, there we go. Now, once we got that, then the rest of it should, should, is, is the key word here, should go smoothly, theoretically. And the way I've done it, in the past is simply take it with the pliers. Wow, this works actually really good. I'm actually gonna move this leather out of the way. <laughs> Let's not get black beans on this leather. How about that? I've already messed up this table, it's not a problem. But yeah, you just take the plier. And actually the dual force does a pretty good job of this. I think it's because it has that extra inch of leverage. But yeah, you're just simply going around that edge and you're kind of twisting it up so that you can get the sharp piece out of the way. Of course, I'm talking while I'm doing this. But yes, it's doable. It's not ideal. It's not necessarily the safest thing in the world. But it is doable. And it doesn't involve jamming it with a knife or anything like that. And I do find that I think the needle nose works a little bit better. But it's nice to know that the Gerber Dual Force can actually do this. And what I usually do is once you get to a certain point, you just take the edge and you bend it back and you pour the contents out. That's all. So that's it. That's opening with a pair of pliers. And you're basically just ripping off the edges okay so be very careful because if you do this you're going to expose an incredibly sharp edge but it is doable and now we just in showed that you can actually do it with the dual force which is great and actually I gotta say the extra leverage really does help so there you go very cool so with the uh, needle nose pliers of the surge I found this to be even easier because especially with that initial rip it tears a very clean line, so you can continue to rip it and twist as you go. So you basically, the action is grabbing it, and you're like twisting up. So you're holding the can, you're twisting out and away from yourself. So you're rotating it as you go, if that makes any sense. But you don't have to get it that far open to get most things. If you have something like, I don't know, cranberry sauce, it's going to take you a while because it comes out in one gelatinous mass. But you get the idea, I hope. There you go, opening a can with a pair of pliers.